designing, it's everything to me. I mean, I have a hard time taking vacation. I need to design, I need to create. It's part of my own DNA, which is not always a good thing <laughs> when you have a family, but try to balance it as good as I can. But anything, anything that, you know, can inspire me from clothing and, and fashion shows and stuff like that, but also, you know, architecture. I look at, you know, obviously cars and just a, a nice looking wall can inspire me. Zumi Studios is a lifestyle brand that I founded as a side project to my other business uh, in fashion design and production. I went to school in, uh, in Stockholm, Sweden. I started out with graphic design. Uh, I was art director for Carlings, which is a very big uh, chain store here in Scandinavia. I worked in Norway for about a year. I wanted to move back to Sweden, so they told me that you know, if I move back and I start my own company, I can still keep doing work for them. That was my first client which is a very big client to start with. And then it just snowballed, you know, into H&M and, yeah, and, and a lot of independent brands as well. My vision was always to find new niches and, and, and create things that they hadn't done. That was a battle all the time you know, working with those big corporate companies. So I got really tired of fighting every day for what I thought, you know, or what I actually knew in my world uh, would work. I created Nizumi as kind of an outlet for, you know, all my ideas that I couldn't do with them and also the ideas that I didn't want to give to them. It was mainly clothing. I started making a limited line of jeans here in Sweden. I found a distributor that signed me and he wanted a certain range of products and uh, fell into that kind of trap for, for a few years. It was great, you know, and I did the whole line with, you know, shirts, t-shirts, uh, jackets, uh, pants and accessories of all types. Summer of 2014, we had a big trade show at Bread and Butter in Berlin. After I came home, I just felt that this wasn't what I wanted. It's way too many products that I never wanted to have in my line, maybe 50 or 60 different styles. You know, that was never the plan. I wanted to keep it simple uh, and direct and, and have, you know, only products that I'm passionate about. So, a few months after that, I started to draw a watch. I released that on Kickstarter as a uh, fundraising campaign. That was natural to me because I've always you know, been passionate about watches. I think it was fully funded in 11 hours or something like that. And then it ran for 30 days. It gave me uh, global marketing at the same time, which was amazing. Today the watches are definitely the, the main product and everything else is accessories to the accessory. Watch was a Chronograph uh, 60s, 70s inspired uh, racing watch, and, and with that, I had my racing gloves and leather, and, and so on. So I feel like having accessories to match the watch instead of a watch to match, you know, the clothing you're wearing. The opposite way around, kind of. Coming from mainly a denim background with distressing and leathers, and I incorporate that in my watches today. With you know, the colors I use are not solid white, solid blacks. Everything is a, you know, a different hue. The only thing that I actually outsource as a part is the movement. So otherwise I draw everything and we, you know, do the 3D sketches and, and 3D printing the case to, to make it right. And no, spare no expense. Everything that I do is, it's made from the ground up. It's, uh, it's a long process to make, yeah, just one watch. passion for Porsches started at an early age. This car is a 1982-911 SC. Well, the livery is obviously Nozumi, silver, gold, and black. I think uh, that's, uh, I tend to fall into those colors. Classic car culture in Stockholm is, it's big. 
you know, when I got my car, uh, this one, I thought it would be cool to just have my own batch. And being a designer, I, I always love trying to find someone that can help me do whatever it is I want to do. So I, I found this guy in Sweden that can mold badges out of bronze. <laughs> so I designed one and I put it on my car. And, and after a while, people started contacting me and like, can I buy that badge off of you? And, uh, you know, what, what is it? And I was like, oh, it, it's, it's just a one-off. You know, I just made for myself. The guys that contacted me were pretty cool dudes. Uh, uh, got off on a good foot, and I decided so maybe maybe this should be a crew, you know. Uh, <laughs> and that's that. And I started started a club, and it's called Roughneck Brigade. I have pilots and army people in my family that a lot of my childhood was spent in hangars and at an Air Force base, playing around and, and hearing stories about World War II, about brigadiers, and those flight crews, you know, cool guys painting their bombers and whatnot, you know, I just thought it would be a cool name, I, I don't know why, it just, it just, it was natural. A little bit over 50 members in nine countries. <laughs> Microbrands, uh, pop up all over the place. It's definitely been a battle many times. Even if you're successful at anything, I think if you don't have the challenges, you're not gonna move ahead. You know, designing like I did for H&M and all that, you know, obviously I saw people on the streets all the time and stuff that I drew, which was so cool and I was like, wow, that's I did that. And obviously the Nozumi products popping up on social media and people posting it and I just love it. I just, uh, I, like to, I like to stay connected to, to my uh, customers as much as possible. I have a saying that, I, or like a slogan that I've used for Nozumi over the years and it's called creating bonds. It summarizes everything around you know, me buying my first Porsche and getting to know all these great people from just buying a car, which is amazing. And same thing went with you know, starting the Zoomi and uh, creating my first Swedish-made jeans. And I became friends with other denim nerds that are out, out there on a, on a global level, people connecting today. Having created something that you know people like is is awesome, but making great friends in the process is uh, that's the best thing.